Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a basic eye makeup look and share some of my favorite tips and tricks. I've already prepped the lid with a little bit of eyeshadow primer, but you can use foundation, concealer, whatever works for you. I've also left my lid slightly tacky. This will grab hold of the eyeshadow, but for beginners, I would recommend setting with a little bit of powder. This will give you a easier blend. I often get asked about the parts of the eye, and probably the main part that you need to be aware of is the crease area. This is basically where the lid creases into the eye shape, but it often refers to anything above this, but below the brow bone. Try not to overcomplicate it, but just make sure you're paying close attention to your blend in the crease. As long as you leave a gap underneath your brows, you're good to go. And the easiest way to create any eye makeup look is to use a shadow at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, a mid-tone shade, and then a shadow at least one shade darker than your skin tone. Your mid-tone is actually the most important and it can be a little tricky to pick, so I actually recommend using your favorite nude lipstick as a guide. If it looks great on your lips, chances are it'll work in your crease too. So just use a corresponding eyeshadow to match it. We're going to start off with our mid-tone, so choose whatever works for you. And we're using a blending brush to start with. This is anything with a fluffy finish. We're going to start this in the crease of the eye. So apply this from the outer corner, working over and back above the lid. Making sure to leave a gap just underneath the brow bone. And also remember to keep your eyes open. This will help you figure out the shape that you're creating. For hooded eyes, this is a great way to camouflage any hoodedness, as it almost contours the hoodedness away. If you don't know where to stop and start your eyeshadows, use your brow, edge of your eye, and edge of your nose as a guide and blend in from this point. As long as you're blending in, it will complement your eye shape. And this area is where we've applied our mid-tone. We can now move on to contour. Your contour shade is at least one shade darker than your skin tone, but can be anywhere up to a black shade. We're going to apply it with that same brush and keep this on the outer lid and into the deep part of the crease. For a more precise application, squash down your fluffy brush and get it deep in that crease. This will prevent you from bringing your contour up too high, which is a very beginner mistake to make. Once you've applied it in that area, open up the brush and blend over and back. Remember to keep your brush high on the face. This will make sure that your contour doesn't blend too high and it'll keep it nice and low and deep in that crease. The higher the hand, the lower the blend. And as you can see, your contour ends up within the area that you've mid-toned. Your mid-tone is always the highest, so make sure to keep that contour nice and low. Now we're going to take a flat brush. This is anything with a smooth, flat line. And we're going to use this to apply our highlighter shade, which is about one shade lighter than your skin tone. You're going to apply this on the inner corner of the lid, focusing really close to that inner edge, and then blending across the lid. I like to do a sweeping down motion across the lid, while the other eyeshadows have been blending up and over. This will give you a cleaner finish. You can also then take something with a little bit of shimmer and just pat this over the top of the lighter matte shade. And there you go. That is the finished look. Super easy basic eye makeup look that you can then adapt to work for you. Finish off in whatever way that you want. And if you have any questions, I am always here to help. So leave a comment, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.